Kenyan police patrolled Port-au-Prince in armored vehicles after their arrival, while Haiti's Prime Minister Gary Connell announced new emergency measures to combat the country's gangs. A local official told AFP that vehicles patrolled the area around National Palace and other parts of Port-au-Prince with Kenyan forces and Haitian police on board. He did not provide details about the objectives of the operation. Report says several bangs were heard as the vehicles passed by, although it was unclear if they were shot fired by police or the armed gangs who control some 80% of the capital. Cornell on Wednesday said the authorities declared a state of security emergency in 14 communities that are under the control of gangs. The Prime Minister added that he had authorized the National Police, the Haitian Army and the Kenyan force to launch operations in the affected areas based on plans that had been established. He said the objective is to take back all the areas that are controlled by the gangs house by house, neighborhood by neighborhood, and city by city. Kenya stepped up last year to lead the long-sought international force to help Haiti tackle its soaring insecurity. The UN-approved mission, with an initial duration of one year, will total 2,500 personnel from countries including Bangladesh, Benin, Chad, the Bahamas, and Barbados. Kenya has now sent around 400 personnel to Haiti, 200 on June 25 and 200 on Tuesday, with promises of another 600 in the coming weeks. The United States has ruled out sending forces but is contributing funding and logistical support to the mission. Haiti has long been rocked by gang violence but conditions sharply worsened at the end of February when armed groups launched coordinated attacks in Port-au-Prince saying they wanted to overthrow then-Prime Minister Ariel Henry.